Bentley? Wait. Oh no. This is this is so scuffed. <laughs> all right. All right. We're, we're, we got different POV now. Well, let me bring it down a little further. See, so now I gotta like angle it though, because this is so scuffed. Hold up. I'm literally using like a little tripod that's like not meant for. Honestly, I think it's better upright, low key. Yeah, it's better upright. We get the better uh, better view. Yes, it's very professional. F. Thanks for uh, noticing. I'm glad you could. Uh, glad you could take part in our shenanigans today. I did say there were gonna be shenanigans. How is my 15 favorite twink doing? That's fucked up. I'm not a twink. What is this dude? What is this? What is this agenda? My goodness. What's up, Crit? How are we doing? All right, so if you guys missed the beginning, we're making Tamago Gohan. I got my Tamago Gohan. No, it's Tamago Kake Gohan. Little little egg on rice rice bowl. I got my shirt on. The back of it is cute as fuck. It's a little egg. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but if it does, there you go. So that's what we're doing today. It's really simple, but simple is good sometimes. So two cups of rice. We got a little Kageyaki Select. It's a little bougie. I bought it at the Japanese grocery store because it looked bougie. So hopefully it's good. If it's not good, I wasted twenty dollars. It's not twenty dollars. It's like it's still like thirteen dollars. Still way too expensive for rice. But we'll see how it is. Now, of course, with any rice, you gotta wash it. And washing it, I like to use it in a little strainer. It's easy. But yeah, yeah, thirteen dollars, dude. This this American inflation shit. No joke. It's really no joke. All right, there's the water pressure going. It's all right though, it's like scuffed, just like the stream. Just like the, just like the water. This is like a really fine rice actually, I think. It's like, I usually use jasmine rice, which is like really long strands. This is super fine though. But it's got quite a bit of starch in it, so we gotta get that out. I wish I could get a better POV, but I don't think I can angle the camera down for, far enough to um, get it over the sink. Cause I don't really have like a, like a sticky tripod or anything. But uh, this will make two. I'm thinking about getting one of those, like, you know, the bendy ones? Um, they have a little, like, bendy tri leg ones that you can just sort of maneuver or whatever. I want to get one of those because that'd be fun for little videos. Like, it's it's so crazy, right? Jasmine rice isn't long. It, that's Bismonte. I don't know. Jasmine's... Okay, I mean, Jasmine's longer than this. I don't know. Maybe Bism yeah, I think Bismonte is longer, but Jasmine, like, this is really fine short grain rice. Um, what did I say? Yeah, with the, uh, with the, uh, tripod thing, right? I want to get, like, a, one of the ones with the bendy legs, because it'd be super cool to just, like, do random vlogs or whatever about whatever things. Um, because I was thinking about it in Japan, right? Like, I, I missed out. Like, I should have recorded more videos in Japan, and I didn't. And I had wanted to buy, like, a random digital camera. Oh, my water pressure's going. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, boys. <laughs> um, I had wanted to do more, like, just random videos in Japan, and I didn't. And literally, like, the week I got back, I got some random vlog recommendation in my YouTube, and the guy literally does, like, exactly the type, type of videos I want to do, and he's so chill. And, like, he just got the vibes. I'll, like, lob it on Twitter when he says, but, like, this guy just, like, understands how to vlog in the style that I like to, I would ever like want to vlog or whatever. I'm not usually a vlogging person though, because I don't really have any interesting things to vlog about. But then again, I don't think any vloggers really are inherently interesting. It's just the way they present the really mundane thing to you. So I might give it a try, but we're getting this starch out of this rice right now. It's really starchy. This water is really cold. My hand's freezing. It's like really fine rice though. It's good stuff, good stuff. Maybe it's worth the $13 nibbly. I don't know though. I don't know. All right, that's enough for the first round. Now, second round. Let me do a little, let me do a little showing off, right? When I moved in, I was like, I wanna eat more rice because rice is good. I like rice. So I bought like a fancy ass Japanese rice cooker, Zojirushi. This shit was like $300 and it like changed my life. It's so good. It's like, look at this thing, look at this thing. It's got like a timer. You can keep it heating for like 16 hours so you can wake up in the morning and just have your rice that you cooked last night and like it still stays warm and fresh. It's crazy, dude. But I never actually use all that because it's like rice in the morning, I have never like wanted to eat rice in the morning. I don't know. But little bowl. 
comes with. We take the rice, we pour it in the bowl, and we're gonna cook it. And while we're cooking it, I'm just gonna be talking about like whatever while it cooks, because it takes like 20 minutes to cook. Rice not a morning food. I get. I mean, I, I can I can see the vision. It's just like my morning food is like usually something that's like really easy, right? I don't want like I don't know. I never make eggs in the morning, right? Literally in the morning, I'll go like um, I'll have like a croissant that I buy from like the bakery and like you know buy four for the week, or I just have Cheerios. Like, dude, these are like this is like the most versatile food ever. Cheerios. When I'm like broke at the end of the month, or if I have like no food in the house, I can eat Cheerios, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's like the best thing ever. This saved my life, low key. But uh, anyways, yeah, that's usually what I eat in the morning. So like rice in the morning, I, 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 I understand it, like I can get with it, but I just never thought to like make it in the morning or like make a whole rice dish for myself in the morning. I think it just sounds like a lot of effort, so. Anyways, what I'm doing right here is I'm just pouring the rice into the little bowl thing, but I just spilled it on my floor. Great, you know, clean kitchen. Yeah, it is. This is like the bear, it's intense. I gotta get this done, you know what I mean? Time's, uh, time's of the essence. I actually haven't seen the bear, so I don't know what it's about, but it looks intense. And I saw Bob Odenkirk is uh, in season two. So we'll see how it is. Let me get the last of this rice in here. All right. Rice in the bowl. Oh, what's happening? Jewel is quick. Wait, what did you guys just watch? The bear? Wait, did you guys actually just watch the bear? Or a different show? I can't like see chat. It only shows the last like three messages. Beef? Oh, I heard about that. That's on, um, that's on Hulu, right? What am I cooking? I'm cooking tamago kake gohan, which is just like an egg on rice. And I'm wearing an egg on rice shirt. That's the plan today. It's really simple, really easy, and it looks yummy. So hopefully it's gonna go well. And if it goes badly, keep in mind guys, so the egg is supposed to cook when you put it on the rice. Now if the egg doesn't cook, I'm gonna get salmonella because I'm American and we don't have good eggs. So it's gonna be like a double-edged sword stream, right? And I can blame nobody but myself if anything goes wrong. So keep that in mind, that's my disclaimer. Don't let me use an excuse that I was doing it for a stream. This is my fault, but I should be fine. But American eggs do scare the shit out of me when you cook them raw, because I don't know, man. We're a bit sus with eggs. All right. If I wonder what are you cooking? <laughs> yeah, dude, I, it's a... Uh, I was thinking about making that the uh, stream title, Let Him Cook, but uh, might be a missed opportunity. Now I gotta fill this up. All right, we're filled up to the two cup line. Water's looking pretty clear, which means that we got a, we got a good amount of the starch out, and that's what's important at the end of the day. You wanna get all the starch out because then it gets all weird and like yucky when you, uh, when you cook it and then like you take it out and it's like full of film. And I hate that because it just, it looks gross. It's not like gross to eat at all. Cause you like, you don't really taste it when you like mix it up, but like low key, it just tastes gross. All right, let me flip the camera around. Chef Jules, yo, what's up Julie? All right. All right, look at, dude, look at my, my bougie ass rice cooker, ready? Boom. All right, my hand's wet, so I shouldn't plug this in, but if I die on stream, I did it for the vine. All right. Don't shock me, 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 don't shock me. Oh, that's that. All right. All right, boys. So, fancy rice cooker, right? White rice slash mixed, rinse free, quick cooking. We're gonna do quick cooking because I don't wanna waste everybody's time today. So we go, listen to the sound it makes. Ready, ready, ready? I'm gonna be, sh I'm gonna be shut, I'm gonna shut up. Listen to the sound, it's so cute. That it's it's worth the it's worth the three hundred dollars. It's just worth the three hundred dollars just for that alone. It's so cute. I love it. But all right, so we gotta let that cook for about like twenty five minutes, and really all there is to it. 
I cocked it all on. It's just, oh my god, I just slammed my fridge. Uh, it's just rice. You crack an egg open and you like pop it on, and then you put a little of uh, of this. It's called nori komi furikake. And it looks good. It's like a mix of stuff. I made sure I didn't have nuts either. But you just have to put it on here the season after you put the egg on and you should be all golden. I, oh, no, no, no. First I have to crack the egg and then I, 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 I like stir it on and, uh, and mix it in with the rice to get it like, like, um, not like juicy. How do you describe it? Like, like creamy? Yeah, you get the, you get the rice creamy right by taking one egg and doing that. And then you put the second egg in the middle to let it cook a little bit and then you put everything on. Yeah, it's like a seaweed mix. So you can just use nori, like chopped nori or, or cut up nori, which is just the seaweed. Or you can use this, which is like a little bit of a mix of, it's got like sesame seeds and the seaweed. So it's got a little bit more flavor to it. So that's why I want to go for this one. You allergic to nuts? I am, unfortunately. I am built terribly. It's horrible. I like cannot pick a struggle. Dude, this like fucking. Ugh. I wish this like little tripod thing would. Okay, here we go. Now it's like up more. And so I, I had to keep like bending down like this to like get in the frame. All right, so we're gonna let that cook for twenty minutes, and when we get there, we'll mix the eggs in, and the and cook the other egg within it, and then put this on, and then we're done. That's literally dinner. Really simple. And for the next twenty minutes, I'm gonna waffle about. And to celebrate the waffling about, I don't know if I should drink this yet or should I wait until I get my, uh, my dinner, but I got a little, put a little sake cup. This shit's so cute. Look at it. I saw it in the store, I had to buy it. It's like $5. I don't know if I should like drink it right now or should, uh, while I talk or I should uh, save it. If I drink it right now and talk, I think I'm gonna be waffling for like 20 minutes. But I kinda wanna save it. Yeah, it's, it's very I, uh, So, um, fuck, just close. It's funny, um, what do you call it? I, I, so I met Carter at a Japanese like sushi bar place uh, like two weekends ago before we saw Suzume. And we went to this, um, and like, I was looking for just like, um, I don't know, like anything. And there's a bento box place like in the front of this, uh, this restaurant, right? And I was looking up this bento boxes around me just so I could, if I can get something for work. And I saw it was like in the Lower East Side. So I'm like, all right, that's too far, right? But I had wanted to go here, so I searched it up on Google when I was looking for a place for us to eat. And like, that's like the storefront, and then there's a little door on the side, and you go in, and it's like a whole restaurant that's like sort of hidden in the back. And it's really nice, it's really pretty, and they have like music. And if you go even further back, like towards like, and there's like a little door with a curtain in the back, and it's like a speakeasy bar that's like downstairs. And I keep hearing, I kept hearing everybody like celebrate and shit like that. It was super cool. But like, we went in, and they had like a like a happy hour sushi special, which was super cheap. And happy hour sushi sounds sus, but it's like, it was really good. Um, and it was super cheap for like New York, at least. Like New York sushi is always expensive. Um, and it was like $15 for like nine pieces, which is pretty good here. Uh, and then they had like all these different sake. And like, dude, I, I was waiting Carter. Me and Carter were supposed to meet at six, right? I'm always early. I'm always, like six, I'm there 5.55, 5.50, right? I just get there early. I don't want to be late. Carter doesn't get there till 6.40, bro. He, 40 minutes, 40 minutes. I, I had like two beers and like two sake thingies, like like of these, by the time he got here. I was I was cooked by the time he got here, man. It was crazy. And um, uh, he finally got here and it was just like a, it was nice. You know, we were, we were just eating. He doesn't drink, so, you know, we just finished up and then we went to the movie and then that movie was mid, unfortunately. Um, but, it was a good night. It was a good night. And then after that, I went to like a little comedy show with some uh, friends in the city. Like a little like back alley place too. It was cool. But that's my sake spiel rant out of talking about sake. So we're going to drink this when the uh, rice finishes cooking. In the meantime, how are everybody doing? How's your day? I'm going to sit down. Ugh. I got nothing to... I really got nothing else to cook here. Like, it's really simple. I was thinking about doing like a more complicated, like, um, pasta and kale, uh, like, dish. But, like, I had just gotten here in, like, a rush um, from the city, and I was kind of like, bro, I don't want to just, like, not have every ingredient. I think I have all the ingredients, but I just wanted to make sure. I should close my fridge. 
Carter said he wasn't late because of the train. Dude, I, he was he was forty minutes late, bro. He was forty minutes late. You have no groceries? I do have groceries. I bought groceries on Sunday, and I bought a good amount. I like have gotten so tired of eating frozen food that I needed to buy groceries, and so I bought like just little things to to make. But like not any big dishes, just like simple stuff. I bought like chicken and things of that sort. Yeah, best to start with something simple. Exactly, exactly. Let me build up my skills a little bit. Uh, Hamza, I'm cooking tamago kaze gohan, which is just little egg on rice with nori on top. And it's yummy. It looks yummy. I've actually never had it, I don't think. I always like see it in like media. And like, I think I saw it sometimes on like little like advertisements for restaurants in Japan, but I never actually um, got it. And it looked tasty, so we're gonna try it. If it's ass, it's probably my fault. Because it, it does look good, and it looks really appeasing, so we'll see. If you want to do something simple, but Japanese, most dumbbody is really easy. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I love dumbbody too. It's so weird though, because like, there is like a really good, there's a really good dumbbody place here in Jersey City, but like, it's like $20 for like a beef dumbbody, which is like a gyodon, which is ridiculous, right? It's $20. I go to Japan, it's like $7, and it's... Delicious. And it's like as good as like the best one I can get here. Yeah, dude, it's $20. And then around the corner from my new job, they have a little, they have a little Japanese place and like around the corner from my job, right? And it was like $14 and it was not good. And I'm like, why is this $14, bro? Oh my goodness. This is so anime. Shut up, Julie. <laughs> 11 viewers, Jewelers showed up. True, true. We love to see it. It's the same price in Amsterdam. Yeah, it's just like when you're in, like city centers, it's just like ridiculously overpriced for like little things, and I, I find that crazy. Um, it's like really annoying. So like, that's also why I wanted to start cooking because I don't like spending like a lot of money when I go outside, like for lunch. Especially when I'm at work, right? Like I, I don't need a fancy lunch at work. I just need something to eat. Um, and so like I just like I you know I, the first week there I was like, why is everything so expensive? So I was just like, let me go to the grocery shop this weekend and like buy stuff I can make like little lunches out of. So like, I just bought some like bread and like I made like stuff like a nice little tuna sandwich or like um, some olive oil, some salt, pepper, and then uh, some green onions that I cut up and sprinkle on there. Um, or like you could use capers too, just something to give it a little bit of an extra punch. But like little like things like that. That's what I've been wanting to do um, going forward because I have to go in three days a week and I don't want to just buy lunch out there because it's literally like expensive. Like it's at least you're, you're spending at least $12, which I think is ridiculous, right? Like a lunch should be like $5 max. I, I don't know. That's, that's, I don't know. That's just how I'm like, how I think about like spending money on food and things of that sort, especially like during the week. I don't want to spend that much. Tyke told me that my good name is being slandered. And I hate to declare I was only late by 20 minutes. That is false. That is false. You were late by 40 minutes. You got there at 640 and we said six. I will, I will not accept that. I will not accept that. <laughs> I was there a good 40 minutes, bro. Though, here's the thing though, we didn't have to be so early because I thought it was gonna be packed. Um, it is what it is though. Yeah, honestly, I should have left him behind, right? I should have, I should have just taken his, because uh, he sent me PayPal money for the tickets. I should have just sold that ticket to somebody else, honestly. He doesn't deserve it. FBI open up. Yeah, I got a, I got a fire, uh, a fire station that's like right down the street from here. So you hear the fire truck going by sometimes. Background noise, you really do live in New York. I actually don't live in New York. I live in Jersey City, which is right across the river. So like, if you guys wanna see, here, I'm gonna do something cool. All right, this is my window. Hold up. We're doing a little POV. Uh, I need to unlock this. So I go like this. All right. Do you guys see? Oh, you can't really see the skyline from here. Hold up a second, hold up a second. Let me fall out the window real quick for everybody just to get the shot. Ugh. All right, I'm sticking my head out the window. So, if you see in the distance, do you see the Freedom Tower? That's like all the way over there. It's like peeking out. That's, that's the city. Well, that's like, this is like Jersey City. And then that right there is Freedom Tower. So that's New York, but Jersey City is like right across the river. I don't know why chat disappeared. Where did chat go? Ugh, okay.
All right. Wait, where did chat go, dude? It's like chat disappears when you, um... It, like, disappears when you, uh... Hmm. I can't see chat now. It disappears when you, um... Like, switch POVs. Okay, there we go. I see crit. Uh, house tour. It's a bit messy in here. F, but sure. So, it, like, literally looks like a pigsty because I haven't cleaned. And I was just, like, running around and I just ran in. But... Here's a kitchen. You know, it's a kitchen. I don't use it enough because I don't cook enough. That's me. Hello. Yeah. And then in this room, it's just a little boiler for the hot water and everything. That's all that is. It gets really hot in here. Oh my god. They just like let out heat when I went there. And then, obviously, this is the office that you guys see all the time. You know, you guys see this background all the time. That's like, this is what the actual front of it looks like. I usually have two posters, but this one keeps falling down, which kind of sucks. Um, and it's really annoying. But yeah, it's kind of boring. This is like my figure shelf or whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Can you liven up this room a little bit more? Yeah, I know. I was um, like not doing that for a while because I didn't know how long I'd be here because I was afraid like, you know, next year my rent would go up. The Oscars, yeah, bro. We got all the Oscars. All the Oscars. Um, but... Yeah, no, I haven't, I didn't, like, a lot of empty space to the left. Well, actually, that's because there's this big heater here, and I had wanted to put a couch here, but I just haven't, because it's kind of expensive. I didn't know how big of a, like, I wanted, like, a, not even a couch. I wanted, like, a, um, like, a laying down chair for this little area, but, and then I wanted to take this shelf out, because it's, like, an old shelf. I don't want it in here, and I wanted to put, like, a record player with two other bookshelf speakers. No futons. I don't want a futon. Futons are ugly. This is the Ray Plush. That Tuli requested. Um, these are just games because I needed something to put on the shelf. So there's just stuff. Uh, this is, okay, this is all the boxes for the figures and like everything over the last few years. So it's kind of packed in here, but it's like, you know, it's like a, it's a controlled chaos. So obviously boxes, boxes, box, 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 box. Poster I haven't hung that I want to frame. Uh, these are all the Evangelion movie posters that I still haven't framed after like two years. So I need to do that soon. Um, this is pretty much just all figure boxes and stuff like that. And then like extra bookshelves, right? So that's that. And if you thought, see, Crit's going to like mold because if you thought that room is empty, like, dude, the bedroom is scary. So here's a bathroom. It's a bathroom. You know how it is. Bathroom, bathroom, bathroom. Uh, living room. Again, it's a living room. There you go. I have this dead space here. I wanted to put like an alcohol cart here, but at the same time, I would have drank all that alcohol, which is a bad idea. So I didn't buy an alcohol cart. So I don't really know. I, if anything, like that shelf that's um, on the, the wall with all the games, if I do put up like the little record player and like couch setup thing there, i bring that and put that here because uh, just something. This is actually so big for a single person. Yeah, I know. It's too much for me, but it's my home. And then, like, this is outside. So, little neighborhood. It's cute. It's a little cloudy outside. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> this, is the, uh, this is the yikes moment. So, here's my bedroom. <laughs> here's my bedroom. And this is it. <laughs> There's nothing in here. I, I spend no time in here. There's nothing. I, this is my this is my nightstand. <laughs> my nightstand is the is the is the box for my uh, it's the box for my <laughs> AC. So this is my bedroom. I, I just got I, I just got this. I literally just got this yesterday too. By the way, there was nothing here, and I bought this yesterday because I needed more space. <laughs> yeah, and like it's literally just the bed, bro. It's just like this, like expensive ass pottery barn bed and then just nothing and then like all, my clothes are all out because i was trying to get a fit for the day so here we go foes cosplay you know wardrobes sweater you know o2 onesie ava another ava jacket kaka jersey just shirts and shit laundry shoes blah 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 there it is. Yep, that's the Foes cosplay right there. I think the wig is like, the wig is, it's in one of these. 
I like packed up the wig really nicely. So if I ever have to reuse it, it's like, it still has all the gold and everything on it, but it's a bit of a mess in here because I'm going home tomorrow to do laundry. So that's my excuse. That's my backpack for work. You barely have any clothes. Why do you manage to look so drippy all the time? Actually, no, I feel like I do have a lot of clothes because like these are really packed shelves. Like these are really packed. Like this is like, it's like hard to close most of these. There's like a lot of stuff in here. I have a lot of t-shirts, but I acquired a lot of new drip in the last month. That was the plan. So yeah, um, it's a bit messy though. But I need to also buy new hangers to like put stuff on there and things of that sort. Yeah, there are people with no bed frames, which is actually insane. I triple the amount I need. I need for four seasons. That's real as fuck, honestly. I get it. But yeah, that's the bedroom. Uh, nothing special here. Obviously, it's very dead and empty. And I really don't have any plans to change it because I don't like to just buy stuff to buy stuff because, you know, when you like live in a city and like, you never know if you're going to like be in that apartment for the next year. And so like my thinking was like, oh, let me just not buy a lot of stuff because I don't know what moving out is going to be like. And if you guys want to see like the staircase, I would have to move everything to. You see how thin this door is here? This is like the door to my apartment and then you can see how thin the staircase is. It's very thin. There's a lot of shoes there, my bad. But yeah. It's not easy to uh, get stuff up here. Like this dresser, my dad and one of my old college roommates like literally lifted up there and it was like 97 degrees outside. So it was super hot in there when they lifted this up for me. And like, that was a struggle. I, I don't even want to think about how to get this bed frame out here because they built this inside and like, it's a queen size. Like it literally does not fit into the, uh, it doesn't fit into that, that stairway. Same thing with the bed, actual mattress. It's not going to fit in there. Um, and then the couch. Yeah. Like this is the other reason why I never bought a lot of stuff. But at this point, I kind of just have to double down and just buy stuff because it looks really like sociopathic and not sociopathic, psychopathic in this room. So is what it is. Also... This is my TV. I love my TV area. I got all my little Blu-rays and my PS5 games here. The good stuff. Cinema. Tyke loves this shit. But yeah. PS5. Receiver. PS3. PS4. I, this, this, this thing is worthless, dude. I just jailbroke it. I never even like done anything with it. It just sucks. Um, but yeah. Oh yeah. This cool Arctic Monkeys poster I got. Criterions. Criterions are so based. But yeah, that's the... Uh, that's the apartment tour. And then like, obviously like I spent all my money on like this. This is just what I spent everything on. So it is what it is. But I like all this, but I also like don't have any more room in these bookshelves. And like, I think it's a good thing because it stopped me from buying manga for the last like three months, except like new volumes of stuff, but we're chilling. Anyway, that's the house tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know how many more minutes we got in a race. It doesn't say, which means that we probably have like 15 minutes or so. You have too many comics and books and I only have like one room. Yeah, dude, I've seen your setup, dude. That, you got way too much going on in there. Way too much. Time to buy more shelves. I don't, um, I don't really like want to like buy more of those shelves because I feel like, like long term, I don't want to use those. Like I think they're good for like when you move in, but. I'd want to like have nicer like built-in shelves and I don't know if I'll, I won't do that in this format. Like I don't want to like put anything in the, in the wall or whatever. So I own so much collection shit that I do not even like recognize. You just buy shit. I'm the living definition of damn bitch you look like this. Dude, I've seen those room pictures. That, that, that is messy, bro. That is, that is wild. I can't, I can't believe you live like this, bro. But you know, you gotta live the way you live. I live the way I live. You see how empty it is? It's called minimalism, right? None of this feng shui bullshit. It's just minimalism. That's what it is. It's, it's min-maxing. I min-max everything. I min-max the wrong things, though. That's, that's, that's the issue. But at least I'm cognizant of it. And we'll, we'll work to improve on it in the next few years. Also, like, the other reason, like, I didn't buy, like, um, a bunch of furniture and shit is because, like, dude, if you, like, if I was, like, buying furniture and everything to fill up this apartment, I would have literally been, like, living paycheck to paycheck, like, for the last... I don't know, year and a half, because I wasn't actually like, save, like I was trying to save as much as I could. And like, dude, this kind of, inflation kind of hits, hits the, hits us rough over here. <laughs> it was a little, a little tough to save money for a bit, but uh, we're back now. New job's been, new job's been good. I got my like, first paycheck from them today and it was good. So I should be able to save a lot more, which is nice. 
But uh, yeah, I just didn't want to keep spending money, money, money. And I say that with the giant manga collection, but that was also like I needed, I needed a hobby, and that was really fun. It's so fun, but I haven't been spending as much on there. When I move out, I have like more room to put shit on property display. Yeah, yeah, that's usually how it goes. Um, though building that detolf shelf was a pain in the ass. I did that by myself, and you're supposed to do it with, like two people, and like the glass doesn't like line up. So like you're supposed to put these little like here. I have. I'll show you guys. There's this like. All right, these little plastic thingies. Where are they? These things. These are supposed to go in the corners of the uh, of the glass to keep it more secure. But you have to like keep it perfectly aligned together, and then the plastic piece isn't cut correctly, so it doesn't line up. And I'm trying to do this by myself, and like I just gave up and just put it without the the corner things. But it's fine. Cause it doesn't move like that, but I guess it's like if like you live in a shaky area or you shake it a lot, it's so the glass doesn't like flex and you know slap the other piece. But I didn't need to do that. So that's that's what happened with that. Also, I, I did this like by myself, bro. I was I was struggling to put that together. It took me like two hours. I remember like by like the second hour, dude. I was just trying to finish it and like I <laughs> I was like, <laughs> like and it was this key mind. It's summer, right? So it's super hot in there. I'm literally like shirtless in my underwear just grabbing this fucking glass trying to put it together by myself i, I look like a gremlin dude it was i look like <laughs> you know i look like i uh if any of you guys have ever seen uh it's always sunny in philadelphia there's a scene where uh, frank reynolds uh he wants to get like put into a couch to hear people from his company shit talking him or like to justify like this this paranoia that he has of his uh company workers like shit talking him and he comes out of the couch, it's like a leather couch. He's like just completely in his underwear, like all sweaty and shit. He just comes out and he's like, oh, I can't breathe. Like I literally looked like that after building that shelf. Like I'm not even kidding, dude. It was, it was rough. It was a rough night, but I got it done. I was happy I got it done, but dude, that was, that was, that was tough. That was tough. Also, we got, we got six, seven minutes on the old timer. So we're almost ready to, for our final, final act of cooking, but it should be fun. But yeah, that's my day. That's my, uh, that's my story. What are you guys up to today? It's a, uh, it's kind of a gloomy Thursday. Not gonna lie. It's very cloudy out today. It looked like it was going to rain. I didn't say rain this weekend, which sucks, but it is what it is. Can't beat it. I actually prefer when it rains cause uh, then my allergies don't go all crazy. Like dude, I think it was Saturday. My eyes were completely red. Like, I couldn't even wear uh, contacts at all, dude. It was terrible on Saturday. It's sunny out on Long Island. I got you. I got you. Gonna read Lalita tonight? Are you almost done, type? I feel like you've been reading that for a while. I, I've, been, uh, I've been reading Arc 5 of ReZero, and I'm on volume 17. I have, like, a chapter left. Dude, that's a crazy volume. Like, not gonna lie, volume 16, which is, like, the first volume, uh, I wasn't, like... I, it, it took a little bit to, for me to get into. Uh, it wasn't like, the, I, don't, I didn't feel like it was a strong start, low-key. Um, took a little bit to get into, and then, like, second half of that volume was really, really good. Um, dude, volume 17, though? Before you go. Before you go. Gonna finish this month? I got you. Also, studying, studying's for chumps. Trust me. Now, I, 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 I didn't study it all in school, which is probably a bad thing, but... I made it through. It's all right. I feel like you, uh, you know, I always say to my friends, like, you didn't, like, need to have the good grades. Especially, like, in finance, because, like, finance, you, like, you know it's, like, sort of a bullshit major, right? This looks like pee. I just realized this, this literally just looks like pee. I'm not drinking pee, by the way. It's, it's, well, I, <laughs> disclaimer. Kieran lemon tea. But I just realized it looked like pee. <laughs> no, no, I'm not drinking pee. It's Kira lemon tea. It's the good stuff. Dude, I oh, I love this stuff so much. So I, I got this like before I went to Japan, um, like a little bottle of it. And I was like, oh my God, this is delicious, right? And uh, then when I go to Japan, like in the 7-Eleven, they, uh, okay, come on, guys, I'm not drinking pee. I'm not drinking pee. <laughs> but I go to the 7-Eleven and they literally have like the little bottles and like they're so cheap. They're like a dollar twenty over there. I was like, oh, I kept drinking like every day. And then I saw this big bottle in the Japanese supermarket, so I bought it because I like it a lot. Also, 
Not too long of a book, but I can read it in short bursts because the writing is so good. I got you. You got to like, savor it. It's like, it's gourmet shit. I get it. I get it. If I got to read more Mistborn tonight. Mistborn, is that Brandon Sanderson? I don't, I'm not familiar. I think it is, right? I don't, I don't know. I just know it's like Steven Erickson, Brandon Sanderson, and, um, and Joel Abercrombie. Abercrombie and uh, George R.R. R. Martin. That's like the only Annie Twitt fantasy books that I know. Or the only fantasy books in general, because that's like all I've ever seen. And like, yeah. Ah. Guy, okay. Again, not drinking pee. He's kind of good at that writing thing. Yeah, I, uh, I am too. Okay. I've never written anything. Though, I have been thinking, right? Because I do want to make those, uh, I do want to make, like, little vlogs, right? Because, like, you know, when I'm, like, in the morning, like, walking to work, like, for my commute, and I'm, like, kind of depressed because it's, like, dark outside, and I start, like, mumbling to myself like a schizophrenic, uh, hypothetically, by the way, um, I'm, like, dude, I, 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 like, listen to myself, and I'm, like, damn, like, I feel like I'm spitting bars right now, and, like, if I wrote this down, I could have a fire script, but... By the time I get ready to write it down, I kind of forget because I think it's just a morning thing. And so I got to I gotta record myself in the morning uh, of just me mumbling about rambling because I know I'm saying some sort of fire and I can make it to a script and I can make a little short film movie out of it. But yeah, dude, I've been like so, uh, I've been so wanting to do new things like the last like week and a half, bro. I like, I started this new job and I'm like, yo, this like opens up opportunities financially. So let me just... You know, let me just uh, get into stuff, right? So that's why I've been like, I've been so productive, right? I've been so productive. Um, just been doing like a bunch of stuff, getting appointments done, getting things I've been needing to do. You should get a little notebook and write stuff. I know, I have a little notebook. I just gotta, I just gotta like write the actual stuff down. Also, Donnie, how we doing? Woke up from the deep slumber. I love to see it. But um, yeah, no, and so I've been like just thinking like, oh, like, let me just make stuff. Cause then like, I made a little like Japan video and that was like really half-assed, but like, I just wanted to like use the different editing tools for the first time. And that took me like 30 minutes in a coffee shop and it was fun. So I'm like, damn, let me just like apply it to other things. And um, yeah, so I, like, I made a little Japan video and I have a bunch of ideas I've been wanting to do for a long time that I just haven't done. So like for like a stream schedule, right? Like I've been thinking of like skits to do to announce the stream schedule. So like I have one that I might, might film like next week or something like that. Um, that'll be super fun. So stay tuned for that. Uh, I gotta get around to like figuring out how to like put the camera and stuff like that. Cause this camera stand is just like a basic like tripod thing. I need something that I like, sort of can suction cup to walls that I can hang my phone from different areas. I wanna do that. Um, I just gotta figure out like which one to buy. So I'm gonna do that eventually. But yeah, I had like little like stream script ideas of uh, things I wanted to do. And then, like, I don't know, just, like, random other video ideas that, like, I was writing down in my free time out of boredom in my little notebook. So I'm going to do those eventually. But, yeah, like, going on top of, like, that productivity thing, like, I signed up for, like, a Japanese class, too. So I'm really excited to do that. Like, that's starting in two weeks. And it's going to be on Wednesday nights. And, yeah, dude, I'm so excited for it. It's, like, in person, too. And it's at the uh, Japan Society in the city. So should be immersive. Should be good. We'll see how that goes. I have to, like, uh, brush up on the notes. Oh. We're good. Ah! All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> we got a little rice time. Is it rice time or the right time? That was terrible. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Just don't clip that, please. Um, what do I need to do now? I need to put the, I need to put the, the rice in the, uh, in the bowl. The jingle? Dude, I, uh, Tyke, you missed early in the stream. I was showing everybody the jingle that it makes when you, um, when you, uh, turn it on. It makes a, it does twinkle, twinkle little star as the jingle when you turn it on. It's really cute. Okay. So, Tamago Gohan, I got to take the rice out and mix it with an egg. So let me get an egg real quick. So because American eggs, like, aren't regulated and aren't good here, I was, like, thinking, like, okay, if I spend a lot of money on eggs, 
they won't kill me if they're accidentally raw, right? That's that's my thinking, right? Now, if they do kill me because they're accidentally raw and they were expensive, I'm gonna cry. But I bought these eggs. Now, call me crazy, but I had to make the 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 safety decision and the stream decision. Uh, these were eight dollars, which is kind of ridiculous. But hopefully, they won't kill me. That's the hope. I need to crack an egg. Now, I'm not very good at this, so you're gonna watch me struggle. Wow, why does the egg look dusty, bro? It's like a dusty egg. It's got that dust. Is this one cracked a bit? This one has a little crack. They're all different colors, bro. These are like, look at these, dude. It's like a candy box. It's all different colors. This is so cute. Look at the, it's like they're actual eggs. Like, why is this one so beige, bro? I like this color. This one's so small. All right, let's use a, let's use a small one to mix. Crack on a flat surface. All right. All right, can I cook? Oh no, my tripod thing is not. Stop it. All right. We're gonna bring the POV. POV. Bought those eggs on the black market? Yeah, they're actually, uh, they're, uh, what's the big bird called? You know the, the big uh, ostrich? Yeah, these are ostrich eggs actually. They're uh, hard to get, you know how it is. All right, I don't know how to crack eggs. I don't know how to crack eggs. So please don't make fun of me if I fuck it up. Now I know I need to like crack this egg and then like wish it around a little bit and then pop it in and then stir it. So let me... Where are my chopsticks? All right, chopsticks, got my chopsticks. Need rice, let me get my rice. Dude, this rice came out really good. I like the fine rice. It's really, this looks really good. All right, we got our rice. What's up, Joseph? How we doing? All right. <laughs> Bear with me. I don't know how this is gonna go. You didn't see that. You didn't see that. You didn't see that. <laughs> My bad. That was a... I accidentally cracked it a little too hard. All right. I don't think I want the liquid in here. That's what I understand. All right. Interesting technique. Guys, I, d <laughs> I don't. All right, you know what? <laughs> we got one in there. Good. Dude, what are you doing? Let me cook. Let me cook. We gotta take this, we gotta mash it around a little bit. Look at that, look at that mix. Look at that mix, boys. Oh my God, look at the color. You see that? That's the color of victory. It's not for everybody. I'm dying as an omelet connoisseur. I love omelets too. I don't know how to make them though. We need you at the kitchen. Come on, yo. What is this? I'm like the bear. All right. Got a little yellow in there. Got a little, little something something. Now I think I need to put some soy sauce in here because that also adds to the Texture, I'm pretty sure. All right, I don't want to eat this. Come on, man. This is good stuff, trust me. All right. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to put soy sauce in here. Let me check. Oh, okay, gotta get my YouTube tutorial up. You guys don't know ball, <laughs> how to make Tamago Kake Gohan. I watched this one guy's YouTube video. He's an ALT. He's one of those, uh, those uh, language teachers. Thanks for the follow, Joseph. It would get poison. Oh yeah, yeah, no, it would be. 
Well, darn it. That's why I bought expensive eggs because I got to make sure that they're they're safe. You know what I mean? All right, hold up. I'm watching this right now. Bro takes the egg. All right, mixes it up. Damn, his is like so like different looking. I don't know what I did wrong. Thank you, bro, for cooking. No problem, bro. No problem. Mine looks so yellow. I think it's just I have different eggs. Why is this so mushy? Oh, he put soy sauce in it. He put soy sauce and salt. All right, I got it, I got it. We're good, we're good. All I got is iodized salt, so we're gonna need some of that. That's enough. I don't like a lot of salt. So we got a little salt in there, and then we got soy sauce. We're pulling out the big guns. Look at this shit. I got this from a Japanese supermarket too. It was like $13 and I had a whole little section about uh, the different types of soy sauces and the flavor profiles. And I bought this one because it said it had a deeper, richer profile and it also looks cool as fuck. I mean, look at the packaging, bro. This looks, this looks like it's it. It's better than the Kikomon that you see everywhere. So, we'll take a little of this. Ah, there we go. This is my secret sauce, bro. So usually when I eat rice, I eat like a crackhead, right? So I only eat it with the uh, soy sauce most of the time. That's it. So we're turning a new leaf today, guys. Trust me. New, uh, new job, new me. Japan changed me. That's what I'm saying. So, all right, here we go. Now we're getting the color a little bit. That looks more like it should be. It's a bit like thick. It's so far away. My bad. 20 years? Uh, 20 years is a little far, yeah. Three years is the, maybe, five and a half, true, true, true. We'll see how it is. It was so funny though. I like went out for drinks with uh, one of our like higher up managers. And uh, so like my new company is French, right? And he's a, he's a French guy who's like sent from Paris and he's been working there for like 20 years or so. And he's asked me what, what their dreams are. And like, he was like the ones who like don't want to move somewhere else. He was just roasting them. He was like, what's your dream? And like one guy said, California. I'm like, good. He's like, what's your dream? And the guy said he wanted to open a pizza shop. He's like, dream bigger. <laughs> Which I was like, damn, it's kind of fucked up. But like, damn. And I was like, I kind of want to like make movies or, uh, or, you know, move away to Japan or something like that. And he's like, good. So he seems cool. It was just funny because he seemed like really intimidating uh, at work. But it's just because he's super, like, well-dressed and, like, French. And, like, dude, he, like, I, I don't know how old he is, but, like, he looks so fucking good. Like, it's crazy, dude. He's, like, so, like, he looks like a Giga Chad meme, like, low-key. But, um, all right. Let me stop talking. We got that in. Let me if you get any French tips. Got it. All right, so after I put my soy sauce in here and mix it up a bit, I got the color I wanted. So I think now I got to just... Oh, let, me, let me do a taste test first. That's good. Ooh, that's nice. All right. We're going to crack a second egg. So, I won't mess this one up. All right. We don't want the liquid in here. Oh, you know what it was? I think, um, I think, I'm trying to get this out. God, I'm trying to get the white shit out of the egg. I'm pretty sure that's the, uh, you know what? I can't say it because then I'll get demonetized or whatever. All right, I got it out. Egg. We pop it in the middle. It's supposed to cook in there. All right. Hopefully I'm cooking right now. Just cracking a bowl. Oh, 
Oh no, I like popped it open accidentally. It's all right. <laughs> no, I, I ruined the presentation. No, I ruined it. I ruined it, bro. Oh my goodness. It's over. I ruined the, pre I shouldn't have touched it. I should have just left it in place. It was like off center and I tried to center it and I just, I, God damn it. It's all right. All right, we're just putting a little bit of this. So I gotta, hold up. Aesthetics ruined me over, literally, dude. It's cooked. Did I just peel this off? There we go. All right. Oh, did I take this off too? How do I take this off? Get off. Get. All right. Well, no, it's okay. Hold up. Hold up. Let him cook. I mean, we lost the aesthetics, but it looks tasty. It looks yummy. So we're gonna do a taste test. Bring it over here. Let me, uh, let me get set up for the reaction. Reaction video time. Let me get some sake too, just in case it goes bad. Boys, lads, you do teach the critty chicken noodle recipe sometime and cook it on stream. That would be fun. This was fun. I enjoyed doing this. I just need to do it like with more time and preparation because I got here like way too uh, last minute. Well, sake cup that we showed earlier, chica sake cup. All right. How's this? That's nice. It's really simple. All right, taste test. It came out really good. It actually came out good. It came out good. I like that. It's very refreshing. Get behind it. He jumps on Norwegian classics, or is he not built for it? I'll be there no matter what. Not the curry disaster class. We don't talk about the curry disaster class. This came out good. Okay. It's a bit. I need to. Um, I need to. I don't know how. I feel like it needs a little bit more moisture. Grate it. Hmm. I'm gonna give this a humble seven. It's yummy. Yeah, it's like a humble seven. There's a lot of different flavors going on for it, which is um better than what I would eat usually. Because usually before this, if I just had rice, I would literally just put soy sauce on it, and that was that was dinner. And that's a bad way of eating. Also, I realized I wasn't having, um, I don't know if I talk about the like heart thing or whatever. I wasn't having like anxiety attacks or anything. My, uh, my doctor's like, yo, you're probably stressing yourself out and then you eat like shit. So you have like really bad acid reflux. And also I kept pointing here thinking it was my heart. He's like, your heart isn't there, dumbass. Your heart is like right here. And I'm like, oh, so I'm not having a heart attack. And so I'm all good now. But this is the first step to eating better. It's cooking for yourself. Instead of, uh, Eating like a gremlin when you do cook for yourself or or eating like shitty frozen fruits. So cheers to that. Good, good though. I like the taste of the nori. Hold it out. It literally did. Oh my God. 
And it's so funny because I had the, um, like the last time it happened before last week, because last week that was like my second week on the job, right? Um, like it happened in March, like early March. I was literally just playing League and it came on. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Like I thought I was having, like a, my heart was getting or something like that. And dude, he literally said, he literally said, yeah, it's probably like a diet and stress thing. But also notice how you didn't have it at all when you're in Japan because you're probably eating way better and you were a lot happier there. And I'm like, damn, I feel like all the, I feel like all the signs are pointing me there. So we'll give it, we'll give it a year and a half, boys. We'll give it a year and a half and then we'll, uh, we might bite the bullet. We'll see. Did you just take that a lot? Only during the weekends, like, but like the weekends I usually like treat myself to a meal, right? So like, um, you know, Friday morning I have like a nice little breakfast. Um, usually I, I, I'll either get like a, I usually get a breakfast uh, sandwich every Friday morning from the same place. And then I'll get like a little pastry that I eat for lunch. And then dinner I'll like, you know, order out somewhere. Um, Saturday I usually eat out. I only, I only really eat out on weekends. Like I don't eat out during the weekdays most of the time. Most of the time I'm just like eating at home, but I was just eating like frozen food and shit like that, which isn't good for you. Um, and then also, so like if I did eat out on like a, a weekday, it'd be like a cheap, like $4 pizza from down the street or something like that, like something cheap usually. I don't like to eat out because obviously that just costs a lot of money here. So this is the first step to saving money a little bit too on food. Take me with you. Yeah, dude, we gotta get you somewhere. I'm telling you, Donnie. House 2024 is going to hit. We got to do it, man. We got to do it. It'll be so fun. But, I don't know, like, if I do go out there, like, for a bit, I don't know what I do. Because, obviously, you can go, like, down the, um, the ALT route, which is, like, the English, you know, teacher, assistant learning teacher. That's what a lot of people do. And that's nice because... One, they like subsidize your housing for the most part, or like get you like super cheap housing. And then two, it's like, you know, you're making enough where you're like fine. You're not making a ton, but like you don't really need a ton if your housing is subsidized. You know what I mean, like that's the biggest cost most of the time. So there's that option. The other option is doing like a language school and like actually learning while out there. But that costs like a lot more money. That, that's like a good, like at least, like if I did like a year, that's like at least 10 grand, which I like, you know, could invest in and afford. Um, but we'll see what about that. And then like the other option would be like staying at my company long enough where I could transfer out there. Cause they do have a, an office out there, but I don't know how that would go because my salary will probably get prorated to like a Japanese regional salary. That's obviously gonna be a lot lower than New York. And then obviously like you hear all the things about like work culture out there. I don't really want to deal with that. But we'll see. I gotta figure it out. I got plenty of time. That's what I got on my side. I, I think I, I always have this like, uh, this like nervousness about not having time to do things. I think I just pressure myself to do everything really quickly and like at once and like expect myself to know how to do every little thing I want. And then I get really frustrated when I can't do it. But I got time to figure it out. You know, I got a plan. Like I got a mental plan on my mind. And I've got the, uh, I've got the, what do you call it? The not the work attitude, but like the, uh, I think the right attitude is going. Once you get a work visa, you can always find a better job there. Well, work visas are usually sponsored by the company. So if you like left your company, you would need the other company to like have, you know, be able to sponsor it. That's, that's your main issue there. So it's not like that easy to just transfer. If you have enough money saved, I, I would have enough money saved in like a year and a half. Like I literally like planned this all out. I have that nervousness too. The ethic, yes, the work ethic. That's what I'm thinking of. Like I've just been, I've been thinking about stuff a lot more because I think um, like long-term, like doing what I do right now, I, I would not be like happy in like three years, five years. So I just kept doing what I do because like, I don't know, corporate and like finance and everything. It's just, it's very, um, it's very like weird world. Like I feel like everything's so ingenuine um, and I don't like that. Like I, I, I don't like the, uh, the idea that you are constantly trying to like fix issues and fix things just so like at the end of the day, like your company essentially, or the company you're helping essentially meets their little quarterly pro like that's how I always saw it. Um, and it felt very, uh, inconsequential. Like you weren't actually like doing anything substantive and 
like part of my, I guess, drive is to like do something that's substantive where it's like, oh, I can like, you know, have an impact and leave something behind, right? So like when I think movies, right, Tyke? Like you think of all these directors, uh, Kubrick, Hitchcock, uh, Orson Welles. Like these are people who like leave a legacy behind and like leave something behind to be remembered by. And I think that's a really special thing. Um, and that's something I think I would want to chase after. Hence why I'm like thinking long-term, like, all right, let me just, you know, get my money now. If my student loan thing doesn't go through with, you know, Biden's whole thing, let me pay that off. And then so I'm, I'm free, you know, I'm good to go. And then I can go for what I want while having a safety net behind me in case things go south, you know, and that's, that's my idea. I'm very, and I'm very methodical about that. Like, I don't like to um, just run into things without a plan uh, for the most part, um, I guess life, life wise, but I, that's, that's how I think long-term. That's the idea. But this is so good, but it's really filling. Like it's really thick. But yeah, life is life. I got plenty of time. Young 24. Though, saying young 24 and then like 25, you're pushing that 30, that 30 half. I don't know, man, that, that's, that's scaring me thinking about it a little bit. It's eggs and rice. Yeah. I think this is actually too big of a portion for me. That's probably the issue is. But yeah, that was my current philosophical spiel about spiel, spiel, spiel spiel about life for a little bit. But, um, you know, we'll cook. Your belly not fit for big boy food? Yeah, <laughs> probably actually. I haven't, I haven't eaten much today. I had like a nice tuna sandwich I made earlier. That's it. Um, but yeah, you know, at the moment it's like, you know, do well at work so far, keep doing it well. Um, and then obviously other Japanese class coming up, so that should be really fun. I'm really excited for that. Um, cause that just sort of gives you like a, I guess like a hobby or a thing to do outside of work. That's like not just streaming or like watching shit, but like actually, I don't know, doing something that like enhances my learning. So should be fun. I'm excited for that. Also, dude, I'm like full as fuck. And Ooh, I forgot to go. I got, I gotta go to a pharmacy. I forgot to go to a pharmacy. Cause the, uh, yeah, my, uh, so my doctor was like, yo, yeah, you have like a, you have a, like trap gas from being stressed out. So he's like, bro, you need to like chill and you need to, uh, take this medicine I give you. So I have to go to the pharmacy and get the medicine. I hope this won't make it bad. It shouldn't. I hope. You gonna be teaching me soon? Better start learning Chinese, Donnie. I kid you not, I don't think I've ever seen someone learning Japanese that has made learning Japanese their personality. There are definitely people like that. I think it's like, I, I feel like I sort of understand it though, cause it's like, it's a really hard language I think for Western speakers to learn. I mean, it's completely different foundationally from English, right? So I guess a lot of people are really proud of that. that you know, they're learning and that they can, do a lot through that learning. Like I do understand why a lot of people are super passionate about like, oh, I'm learning Japanese. I'm like, this is my progress. And it's like, because it is a, it's a big, you know, step. Like I think when you go from English to Spanish, French, Italian, like you have the Latin roots to it. So it's a lot I think, easier in my opinion to, to learn any of those things. If you're not making it your whole personality, it becomes harder to learn any language. Yeah. I mean, there's that too. Like you have to be like really dedicated. Exactly. Exactly. I, I, I sort of understand it. Like, um, you know, I see people who like turn their like iPhones up to like Japanese, like into like Japanese, uh, text and everything. It's like, that's really good for immersion because then you can just like read the everyday words that you'll see every day. Like you, you know, it just becomes, you know, part of your brain instead of having to like think about it in English and then bring it over. Like it, it's part of immersing yourself in it. Um, and so I think, you know, if I get into it enough, I, I 
definitely do that. I, I, I would like to learn. I would like to learn a lot. Um, I also want to learn like uh, how to do more video and photography stuff. But that I feel like I can teach myself, I guess. But yeah. Gambate. Thank you, sir. I'll do my best. All right. I'm full. I can't finish this. So anyway, we'll end the stream later for today. Thank you everybody for coming out. A little bit different, a little bit chaotic. Next time, it'll be a lot better. Trust me, don't worry about it. It's cause I got here like last minute and I was trying to just get everything together and just get on the stream. Thank you, Mr. Crit. Appreciate you too. Thank you, Donnie. But um, yeah, good stream. We'll be back on uh, probably Monday. I'm going for the weekend, so gonna be chilling, moms, cooking, and uh, yeah, we got. Oh my God, wait, is Mother's Day Sunday? When's Mother's Day? Mother's Day is not Sunday, is it? I can't check because it's gonna like cancel stream. I need to figure out what Mother's Day is. Um, Mother's Day is different for Americans than Europeans, by the way. I'm pretty sure. So keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah. Uh, we'll be back on Monday, probably streaming more Metal Gear Solid, because I got that fix. I'm um, sorry about the later streams, by the way, for EU people. Uh, it's just like, I get out of work, like, early, so like, at 5 p.m., and then I have to take the train back home, which takes about, like, you know, 40, 45 minutes, and then, like, I don't want to just go straight onto a stream at, like, 6. Like, I want to, like, shower and eat before I stream, because then I'm, like, exhausted. So, sorry about the later streams. I know it's not convenient for everybody, but I have been putting the VODs up on YouTube if you ever want to watch, like, the Metal Gear Solid 2 playthrough so far. It's super fun. I'm glad I got it fixed. Um, but yeah, I'll be back on Monday, May 14th. All right, so that's like two weekends. Got it, got it. But yeah, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night. Socket cheers to you. Goodbye.